that most sales will be online. There's a complete fusion of online and offline. And we know about micro moments. I think it's extremely difficult for retailers right now. For a physical retailer who's got big department store costs, chains on the high street, where they've got customers in the high street with the phone, actually sampling their products, getting a three-hour demo, and at the same time choosing the same product from another competitor next door because Amazon will deliver it tomorrow, which is much too slow. See, the problem with online is it's very slow sometimes for reasons that we'll come to. See, we talk about home delivery. In this country, 1.3 billion packages, sorry, in the UK, in the UK, there will be 1.3 billion packages delivered to people's homes. The trouble is they're not there. What's the point of trying to deliver a product to someone's home when they're at work or they're out, and out uh, socializing or whatever? And therefore, we've seen as a next step, uh, as we've seen in Germany and across Europe, an explosion of pay and click and collect depots. But actually, that's not really the answer either. It's still terribly slow. You've told me that five seconds is like a million years. So if you're ordering a product to be delivered by click and collect tomorrow morning, that's an extremely long time, which is why warehousing is already looking rather last century. Warehousing and online don't go together very well in a world where five seconds is like a million years. Pushes us into the Uber world, a world where perhaps, let's, I'll give you a practical example. I'm running to do a speaking engagement. I've run out of the last speaking engagement, and I know that there's a problem with my power cable. I'm running back to the airport to catch another flight to go straight into another event. Yes, I'm signaling ahead that my power cable is broken, but actually, I'm also using Google. On Google, I found Apple. Apple, I've ordered the product. I've pressed the button, and an Uber car has just been dispatched. The, the Apple person has already packaged the product up. He can see the Uber car. The Uber car can see the Apple person, and they connect each other. He hands it over to the person. The person in Uber doesn't even get out of the car. He hands to the person to the U Uber car. Actually, it isn't an Uber car. Uber cars are too slow. It's an Uber motorbike. The Uber motorbike can also see me, can see my phone, and is chasing me down the motorway to Dublin Airport. Overtakes me. Flags, flags us down at the next uh, junction, window winds down, says, Uber here, here's your power supply. I say, thank you so much. You've saved my life. Goodbye. Have a good day. Uber charges my account straight away. Apple's got the, uh, got the thing, and it's the end of warehousing. So why do we need Amazon warehousing? We don't. It's too slow. And so we're going to see an explosion. It's already starting, an explosion of of one-hour delivery, two-hour delivery through networks like all the pieces are in place already from the companies I've just mentioned and, and others that will be starting up to fill this space. An explosion of organizations looking to fulfill your retail desires in less than one hour to wherever you are because the idea of delivering at home or to the office is so last century in a mobile world. The most important thing, if you want to know how the customer feels, is to know where they are. The most important piece of little data the most important piece of little data, in fact, the, or just about the, own, the first piece to start with, is to know where they are. If you don't know where the person is, forget it. How can you possibly market to them? I, I mean, you say, I'm, maybe, maybe you think I'm exaggerating, but I'm seriously not. Location is extremely important. At the moment, the phone company knows I'm in Google. They know I arrived in Google by plane. Why is that? Well, either the phone company or, go or Google itself or iPhone or someone knows because they see my diary. It's all in the cloud, and I've given permissions for it to be seen. So they saw that I've come, come here. They know that I lecture, um, and they know my flight out. They know the flight out. They know what time my tax is coming. And actually, if anyone's got any intuitive sense, there's one time of the day they will market to me today, which is when? Not at home when I get home, but on the way to the airport after today's business is over, right? Yeah? I will be uniquely receptive at that time. Why? I'll be winding down. I'm open to anything. I'm vulnerable. <laughs> tell me about a holiday. Tell me something interesting. Tell me something, tell me something I can spend money on. <laughs> but try to communicate with me now or at lunch break would have been suicidal. What a waste of time interrupting my life. So location is absolutely critical. Um, and I know you've heard that a million times before. <laughs> But it really, really, really is true. And it's all part of the wearable world and, and just about everything to do with biometrics as, as well.